I'm Justin Davis, and this is Drone Camps RC. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to the Drone Camps channel. I'm Justin Davis and today we're gonna check out the most awesome charger for your LiPo batteries you've probably ever seen. They do some super custom stuff and they're coming out of Seattle, USA, not China. So this is very interesting. You can get these cases made here, custom to your specs and you can go completely crazy with what you'd like to throw into one of these chargers. They come with internal power supplies and AC adapters for the wall. You can have the ultimate bench charger out of this and you can incorporate some of the hottest chargers on the market right now, which is ISDTs and in combination with his power supplies. And we'll talk more about the specs on this a little bit later, but I'm super excited about this one because it has my favorite charger included in it, the Q6 from ISDT. I love this charger and I've been using it everywhere out in the field and on the bench as an extra charger but no longer do you really need something so huge like I've been using for the past 10 years. This is a multi-charger with a power supply in it. Very nice charger, but uh, not quite as portable as something like we're getting from Progressive RC. So uh, also my old favorite, the Quattro by Hobby King, another pretty big charger, uh, but I don't need to have all of these leads anymore. I can just use a balance board with something like this, super compact, and I can charge multiple batteries anywhere I go. So pretty sweet little setup. Let me go ahead and show you the one that he sent me. This is the Recon. It is fully customizable uh, front top to back to rear. So this thing is really, really nice. Uh, there's a lot of nice detail in here. He put my logo on there, which I absolutely love. I opened up the box and it was like Christmas morning when this came to my door. So let me go ahead and show you a, uh, a closer look at this little Progressive RC bench charger and portable charge station with included power supply. Pretty sweet deal here. Okay, so we have the Recon Strike on the bench. Let's just go ahead and talk about the features of this one. And uh, we'll talk about some of the features of the larger ones as well on his site. I mean, he has stuff you can customize on his site up to $2,000. It's kind of insane. You can go as wild and crazy as you want with these charge setups. And what's cool about this, I've talked about this before, it's in the USA and they're built out of Seattle. It's really nice that Progressive RC is also a domestic company. So it's nice because you can call David on the phone and you can talk to him person to person and you're gonna get some tech support with this as well. So uh, all the guys are over at Progressive have been in the hobby for a long, long time. They really know what they're talking about, guys. So um, as you can see here, there's not a lot of companies out there that are actually building stuff custom made like this. And uh, this is really something special. Now with that said, let's go ahead and talk about some of the features of the one that I have here. Um, it's pretty simple to operate. If you've ever used the Q6, you can run this guy all day long. I do have it plugged into the wall now for my AC power adapter and I can just barely hear this fan running, which is super nice. It's actually really, really quiet compared to my five to 10 year old power supply I have sitting over there. Um, it's, and that one's only 25 watt. This one's 350 watts. So quite a big difference in uh, that much time frame. But very cool because he already has your balance ports right here. You have a built-in XT60 right here, and that's gonna charge most of your FPV racer 4S batteries and that's pretty common and standard on 4S batteries even all the way up to 6S batteries you can charge on that as well and you have two plugs here and those are for your extra battery leads so if you have some different type of connector say something like a Dean's connector you can just plug this guy in right here and you're going to charge your Dean batteries so pretty sweet also for your fat shark goggle batteries so you can use that right there as well. And if you're flying micro brushless and you use XT30s like this one, just get this little adapter here, plug it into your XT60 spot right there, and you're charging your micro brushless batteries. That's pretty nice. And for some of my long range wings, I use actually XT90s. I don't know if you guys have seen this before, but this is a much larger plug than an XT60. And that's something for like a 3S5000 pack if you're running much larger packs on uh, RC wings or airplanes. These are also 
compatible with this charger as well because you have your banana plugs there and just plug right in and balance charge. Uh, pretty sweet. Now, if you also want to charge multiple batteries at once, not a big deal. Just get yourself a balance board like this. Your parallel charging board can plug right into the XD60 right there and you plug this in into this spot right here and you can charge up to six batteries at once with this unit. So uh, a parallel board is really nice to have and they're not super expensive. So let's go ahead and get a battery charge and I'm just gonna grab a 4S battery right here. I have one of the graphene batteries from Venom. This is a 4S 1300 and it's 90C, 14.8 volts. So I already have 4S selected in the Q6. I'm just gonna plug this into the XT30 there and then I'm gonna plug in the balance lead down below for 4S and it shows up on the screen there. I'm just gonna use my jog wheel and I'm gonna charge that about 1.8 amps. That's a pretty safe charge rate. So I'm gonna go ahead down to start and click on start and now I'm charging. The Q6 is actually a pretty nice charger. It does show you a lot of information on there. It shows you your cell count voltage and how each cell is balanced as it goes. Uh, also up at the very top, it shows you your percentage of charge rate. So that's pretty cool. Not a lot of chargers actually have the percentage of charge going into the battery uh, at the current moment. So that's pretty sweet. Also the elapsed time, how much amps you're putting into the battery and your milliamps over there on the right hand side. So uh, pretty cool. Let's go ahead now and show you how to use one of the charge leads with this unit. Now I've got a battery here from DHK Hobby and this DHK Hobby has a Dean's connector on it. So um, kind of an old school connector and not a lot of people use these anymore, but they are still out there in the fields. People use them on helis all the time. So we'll go ahead and plug in positive and negative. And now I'm gonna plug in this end right here. And a lot of people didn't like these Dean's connectors because they do a lot of pop and spark when you plug them into your ESC. So kind of unnerving there. So I have a 7.4 volt 3200 here. I'm just gonna plug in that little 2S balance lead there. And now I'm ready to charge a 2S battery. So I'll go to 2S, it's already selected it. It has a, sort of an, you can leave it on auto select so it actually knows what the cell count of your battery is, which is pretty cool. Or you can change it to manual so you can manually select how many cells are in your battery, but it's set on auto right now. So I'm gonna charge at, I'm gonna back that down to 1.5, just a nice slow charge and push start. And now I'm charging with a lead. So pretty simple for, the battery lead. So now I want to charge one of my micro brushless batteries and I'm going to do that by using this connector adapter right here. So I'm going to plug in the XT60 side right here into the port on the board. I'm just going to go ahead and push that in and I'll plug that into my battery. I've got the SPC Maker 3S battery right here, 11.1 volt. So I'll pick the 3S balance port there and my charger should automatically detect the cells, which it did, super cool. 1.5 amps, and I don't go over 1.5 really for um, the smaller batteries with the Q6. I like to keep it under two amps. Uh, so now I'm charging, and this battery is pretty much done. It's already at 100%. So uh, we'll go ahead now, and I'll show you how to use the balance board. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and plug in the balance board here on this side over here where the XT60 is, and take your balance board lead right here for your balance cable and plug that in on the far end there. And now we can charge up to six batteries at once. Uh, but if you're gonna be parallel charging multiple batteries, if you're not just doing one, it's a good idea to make sure you check the voltage with a voltmeter to see that your batteries are close to the same voltage. Uh, and you also don't want to mix up different types of milliamp per hour uh, s batteries because um, that's gonna get weird. So you want all these to sort of end at the same time. So we're gonna plug in this first one here and we're gonna plug in the balance port on 3S and this is a 3S 11.1 volt. And same thing for this battery. I have two of these E-Flight batteries. They're the same size, 3S 2200s. I'm gonna plug that in on the opposite side there for the 3S port. And now I can charge my multiple batteries here. It's gonna to go to the screen and it says 3S already. And we could turn that current up just a little bit. We'll go to 1.8 on this charge, a little bit faster. And I'll press start and now I'm charging multiple batteries. So you can go all the way up to six different batteries on there as long as they're the same milliamp setup on the battery. 
and the same cell count. Very important that they are the same size and a similar voltage when you start charging. And a lot of times if I'm in a hurry, I usually don't do multiple batteries at once because what it does is it sort of spreads the amp charge rate to each battery and divides it up along the route. So uh, it takes a, a little bit longer to charge multiple batteries at once as you would uh, guess. But normally if I want a fast charge, I'm just gonna do one battery at a time. So it's pretty simple to use a balance board, parallel board on this charger. I'm just plugging the XT60 there and the balance port on that far end and you're pretty much good to go with a six battery type of setup like this one. Uh, very easy and uh, pretty convenient. Now with all of that said, it's pretty easy to use. It's really easy to set up and just get going and charging your batteries. Um, let's talk about the build quality of this. I always like to sort of give an honest, honest opinion on most of the stuff that comes in my shops. So you guys can benefit from it. Um, if I was gonna pay $249 for a charge setup that was custom built like this, I would definitely wanna see some attention to detail. And I'm looking at this charge box, this whole unit front to back and it looks like it was actually manufactured more than it was just a, sort of a custom home built jobby type of thing. Um, it doesn't look janky. It actually looks really, really nice. Uh, all the hardware on top is all recessed. So all these screws on top they have bolted down for this faceplate. It's all flush mount with the top of the charge unit. So that's pretty nice. The balance ports do stick out on the side here and the XT60 is not flush but that's not a big deal because um, it's just easy to set up there and get charging. Now on the side over here, this is solid over here, but let me turn it to the other side so you can see the extra vent units. So you have two vent units on the side here for a nice airflow because this fan right here is bringing air through and cooling everything, the power supply and the Q6. So it's keeping all of your electronic components cool in here. I don't really recommend closing the top of the case while you're charging um, because you need to have airflow going through here. So keep the top of your unit open while you're charging your batteries. But head over to the Progressive RC website and check them out. Um, Progressive RC also sells quad frames, they sell batteries, they sell all kinds of FPV gear and goggles and um, some awesome chargers. And, and I didn't know that Progressive RC had these chargers uh, until David contacted me via email. So uh, head over to their website, click on charging and charging cases. It'll take you to this page right here and you'll see all the different charge cases that they have available. Um, pretty crazy selection. I, I had no idea he had this many chargers on his page. I mean, starting out at around $234 and if you scroll down the page, you'll see some amazing and crazy setups on here. Uh, you can really, really spoil yourself. So. If you wanted to give one of these as a gift or something like that, you would blow somebody's mind if you gave it to them as a gift. Um, I might be your best friend forever if you sent me one of these in the mail, um, which I'm probably gonna be after this. Um, and looking at the page, I go all the way down to the bottom. The most expensive one he has on there is the PRC Signature Series, the big rig. 4,000 watt combo. Uh, it has one review on there at five stars. Absolutely, it's $2,299.99. That is the most expensive charger in the history of the hobby, but 4,000 watts is insane. It looks like it has uh, dual chargers on there with four different charge spots on there. Uh, recessed fan, you could probably get the case in multiple different colors and you can go completely crazy customize it with your own pilot name on there. Uh, if you're the guy that shows up with this at the field, um, wow, this is probably the, the nicest looking charge setup I've ever seen. And I've been in the hobby for a long time. It's pretty amazing. So um, the only thing you're missing on this thing is uh, a beer cooler and like a flat screen TV. Maybe he'll add that on there for you guys if you want to. But our season is here and I'm super excited because the hobby is picking up right now. I'm seeing more people go out and fly and uh, I'm super excited for spring and summer this year. And this is really a nice surprise from Progressive RC for me. So uh, I'm going to take this everywhere I go out on the road and uh, I'm gonna keep this here on the bench. It's a, a super nice signature piece and if you're looking for something that has a really nice quality to it and a very, very, very 
nicely made. You got to check out the cases from Progressive RC. So I want to say thanks to David for seeing out this unit. I am blown away by it and I'm not easily impressed because I've pretty much seen it all out there in the hobby. Um, I've seen the really cheap chintzy stuff and stuff fry on the bench. Some of the chargers out there aren't even worth putting your money down for, but uh, ISDT is a definitely uh, a nice choice for this setup. You can also get eye chargers. So if you're an eye charger guy, cha-ching there, and those are a really nice chargers, pretty standard in the hobby. They're a little more expensive than ISDT stuff, but um, I always fall back to the more economy stuff. So uh, ISDT does just fine for me, but I'm gonna have to give this one uh, a 4.9 stars. I'm not ever going to give a five star rating for anything, but 4.9 is the highest I could go on my channel. So um, really, 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 really nice stuff here. And uh, I like my logo up in the top left corner there too. That's pretty sweet. So I'm going to say thanks to David and Progressive RC. Thanks for being a legend in the hobby and supporting all of us as, as long as you have. It's, it's really an amazing thing that they're doing. So check out their website and um, see if one of these are right for you. If not, cool beans stick with your little q6 no biggie but this is what i'm going to stick with for this year so thanks again for watching my channel and this review of the recon strike 350 i'm justin davis i'll see you on the next one guys take care and help others as always in the hobby see you on the next one